So for anybody that may not be familiar with what we're talking about right now, you see, you hear us talk about cryptocurrency a lot and you, you hear us talking about obviously Bitcoin and Ethereum, um, but there's other cryptos Alter. out there. Yeah, alt it's called altcoins. So the altcoins, so Bitcoin is like the big dog. Granddaddy I think of it's six, 60% dominant in the uh, space, right? Mm -hmm. So that means that the whole market, Bitcoin takes up 60%, but there's thousands of other coins that make up that, that 40%. So you have Ethereum, you have Cardano, you have um, Tether, Tether, which is the stable coin. You have Bitcoin Cash, you have XRP, you have Litecoin, a bunch of different things. And they all have different um, functionalities. And at the time, in 2017, um, Cardano was getting a lot of publicity. And it was, it was supposed to be like the next one. It was like Cardano to the moon. <laughs> and it's, it never really reached its full potential. But um, yeah. but you still you still are holding out hope that it can still be the leader, one of the leaders in in the space, huh? Oh, it's definitely going to be one of the leaders. And like I said, I've I've been watching their journey a lot. So I've I've seen a lot of the hardships and things that they're going through as a company. And one of their hugest accomplishments that I um, I took part of initially. And their test net was their debtless wallet for staking. So if you're not staking your your um your ADA, I think you should. You get about you get an average of 5.5% a year on those, and the return is always on ADA. So you'll get that. And obviously the, the price of ADA is growing. So even if you end up with I don't know, a few tokens here and there, because it is you get rewarded every five days. Your tokens are not locked. You are free to do whatever you want with your tokens. Like you can decide to stake and unstake the very same day. And like, there's no penalty or anything like that. It's, it's really, really easy. And once you have that going, you just, you pick out a stake pool. I would suggest going for something that's unsaturated, meaning they're not at their full level and they're looking for more delegators. Um, mainly because if you go with a smaller pool, there's a, a better chance you'll get better rewards because if something's already saturated, then the rewards are going to be split um, between all of the people that are in there. Can you tell so us really what, what staking is? Stake, so staking is what you do instead of mining. Bitcoin has mining on their, um, well, that's how you get Bitcoin. You get it from mining. And with the Ouroboros protocol, which is actually, um, it is from a Cardano. They are the creators. And from my understanding, Polkadot is also using the Ouroboros protocol. It is open source. So they are definitely free to do that. Charles has it out there for everyone to do. And Charles Hoskinson is the, um, the creator. And he was also the co-founder of Ethereum as well. So you would put your wallet and or you would put your ADA into the wallet and you would stake it. And staking just means that they're going to be holding your tokens. And since they're holding your tokens, you're going they're going to be using those tokens to get more tokens. And from those, they're going to pay you for holding those tokens. It's kind of like when you go to a bank and you put your money in the bank and they're like, oh, you know, we'll give you if you keep your money in the bank, we'll give you two percent a year or something similar as that. Only they're giving you five and a half percent a year. Yeah. Quick, quick question. So um, a lot of the, the adoption piece for the cryptocurrency space comes when large corporations step in. Yes. So we saw Square do that with Bitcoin. We even heard Stellar when we saw IBM get involved. Is there anybody that you know of now that is getting involved with Cardano or has been involved? Well, there are several countries in Africa. And I mentioned the Ethiopian ministry in their agricultural segment. And uh, there are a few more. I kind of wish I had more of Africa. However, they are teaching students how to program using their, their computing language Haskell and is built into Plutus. So they're, they're actually creating and they have been creating over these past years, students and educators that are familiar with their programming languages. So when everything is actually signed and agreed with the government, which he's actually stating um, is moving along quite nicely. And he's expecting some more information this month. He said March. So we should be expecting some more movement with Africa soon enough. And I'm excited about it. So um, the fact that we have our, the, the devs are now able to start writing code. And now we're having more people that are able, that are knowing this particular language to actually write on Cordano. It's pretty exciting. And that's just one school of the several out there. 
So it's much to it's much to look forward to. I'm not exactly sure what they have in store, but now they have the ability to create whatever they want to create, and I'm pretty excited. And they with Marlo is a, another program that they have. You can actually drag and drop your script, which is very simple. Like there's several different computing computing languages. I wish like everyone just explored it. I don't know. <laughs> it's really Why exciting. Cardano over Bitcoin. Well, I think Bitcoin is nice. It has high fees. It's slow. The scaling it can get expensive. I don't think it's horrible. I think it's still really good to hold, but do I think it's the absolute future? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Why I choose ADA over Bitcoin is all of those reasons that they're actually able to accomplish this. And there's no one in Bitcoin. There's no one over in Bitcoin and saying, hey, let's go to this country and let's develop and help this country and let, let them learn tech in this different language. And let's, let's give them the ability to create whatever they want to create. Let's give them this opportunity. No one in Bitcoin does that. Bitcoin is just there. It's just there. <laughs>